Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Thammy. Welcome back to If My Heart Had Wings. Last episode, Aoi and Amana did kind of the dirty on the beach. Um, overall, I'm not gonna lie, after going through a thing, it was more romantic than it was dirty. <laughs> so in a way, it kind of played to the plot, sort of. It actually helped establish the relationship a little bit better. Uh, I cannot show it because it's pretty graphic and... YouTube will get me in trouble, so we're gonna go ahead and move on from there. We did some crazy things. Uh, that's an understatement. Our business concluded. Now we are resting on the sandy beach. <laughs> uh, the only thing I can think of is like the 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 entire event that happened, right? The entire private moment that they had. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, gonna try not to think about it too much, or else I think I might be a little bit too hot bothered, just a tiny bit. As I cool my head, I realized how big of a thing we had just done. Definitely, but Amana was. She said as she drew close to me. Normally it's bad to this kind of thing outdoors. Like I said, the entire event that they had, the entire private moment, actually played kind of to the point, like to the point of strengthening their bond together and getting them closer to each other. So, in a way, I could see the necessity of it, and I guess the original game did come, you know, the original Ancestor game did come with it. Uh, eh, I can't show it though. I can't show it because I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube. So, let your fantasies do the work for you. <laughs> I don't know. With a warm, fluffy smile. This person seriously lives life at her, at her pace. Me too. It felt great. It was so stimulating that right now I feel like completely absent-minded. Again? <laughs> Lady, you just finished it. Jesus Christ. Yeah, but next time in the house. She nodded, uh, she nodded and we embraced. Our bodies are burning hot. Lots of sweat and all other lick <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is gonna be awkward to read. Uh, other liquids mixed in. The slimy feeling. This is bored <laughs> this is bordering like on a guideline strike. Not to be kidding you. Me too. I like you. We gently embraced and then kissed. Then closed our eyes. I'm sure we couldn't have violated some ethical problems, but right now I could, couldn't care less. Well, good for you, buddy. Good for you. <sighs> and everybody's back. Good. Oh no, we are back. Oh, oh yeah, everybody is gone right now. By the way, if you haven't seen the last episode, everybody's gone on break, and it's just Kanako, Hat, Aoi, and Amane. I mean, you typically don't bone on a beach for a day, but sure. <laughs> Damn it, now Kanaka knows. Why are you looking at me like that? She grinned at me. Yeah, playing. <laughs> I mean, they did play at the beach, but then... Mm. Okay then. And had a grease. Alright, I'll hit up some curry. Kanako, did you make rice? <laughs> like a kid, I swear. I'm relieved to come back to the dormitory. I like exciting dates, but I also like ordinary days, eating good curry together. After all, it's fun to do anything if I'm with Mane. Good for the guy. Good for the guy. Although we'd still gotta deal with the whole 
club thing and trying to make a glider thing. I wonder how that's gonna turn out this time around. Anyway, let's see what happens. And we get a flashback after that very pixelating transition. I know it was a trend, I guess, back when the Vision Novel was created to do these transitions, but god, it's now that I look at it in retrospect, it's so jarring. <laughs> After Iska and the Soaring Club were relieved, the days and months of the year flew by. The summer of the year Iska and I became fourth years. Is it just me or do they look a little bit older? Like, I, I don't know what it is, I think maybe it's the height, maybe the hair difference, I don't know what it is, but something feels like they look just more mature. I mean, Amana looks some, like Amane. Her younger self looks a little bit younger, kind of. I don't know, something about them changed, just slight things that make them look a little bit older. Is it just me? Maybe maybe it's just me, maybe I'm just already thinking things. なるほど。どうしてうまくいかないんだろう。早く飛ばないといけないのに。ん?どうしてだ?我々はまだ4年生だ。時間ならあるぞ。そ、そうだけど。もう少ししたら夏休みだし。そしたら朝からやるよ。
に乗せてもらった時よりずっとスムーズよ乗り心地がいい I've come, to, I've come too long for this glider. There's no doubt that I'm performing better, but it's more difficult than it was before. While adjusting for that now, I'm getting more experience under my belt. We just can't find a good thermal draft, huh? Seems like the air currents have calmed down. We'll circle around one more time and then head back to the runway. That's gotta go. Look at him. Aoi is just piling the thing away like it's nothing. And there is Tobioka. See, I feel like this. I he like there's something that's not being told to us. But that involves him, involves Amane, involves Anchan, involves Iska. Something happened. At least probably involving Iska and him. He knows something is up. He's so hell bent on getting Storm Club to never glide again. There gotta be some sort of reason, right? It's not just he just became a Groucho man for no reason. I think there's like a deeper story. Either that or he is just a Groucho man. I don't know. Guess we'll have to wait and see. Has she forgot Amane? Hmm? See, something's going on there. And we're probably gonna get in trouble. Oof. Well then, hi! Once on the ground, we open the canopy and feel a cool breeze blow. Thanks, and I even got water myself. <laughs> Me and Aoi, literally, I just got water, and I, uh, and I always get water. <laughs> I swear to God, it's it's so silly. It's silly, but it's like I don't know. Throughout the entire experience of, I guess, going through the vision novel, I've noticed that I was able to easily, just easily connect with Aoi as a main character, and this is silly. But even now, <laughs> so well timed. Uh, flying in the season really is rough. Asanyoro brought us towels. I take the towel and wipe my face. Then I hold onto Amana's hand while I climb out of the cockpit. No good. The currents are too calm and we can't find a draft to ride. Guess. We're just about to start training for the first real flight. Flying up to an altitude of 2 kilometers where the morning glory happens with a winch tow is no easy feat. When I fly, someone comes along for the ride. That's the good part about the multi seat model. Putting me, the pilot aside, the flights have been very rewarding for everyone involved with the maintenance and manufacturer. Yeah, sounds good. And here comes Tobika to ruin the entire experience. Huh? Yep. Tobika came striding across the runway. Having just made a look at disgust, Kotari straightened out her expression and prepared herself to take the blunt of what was coming as a club leader. Really? To be okay, coming in to ruin the fun every single time. Like, see, there is a reason why he's tryharding so much at this. They gotta be. But it's, it definitely has to do something with Iska. It has something to do with Iska and the accident. And probably Amana knows something about it. At least that's what he says she does. Maybe she doesn't remember? I don't know. Huh? What's that? 
とにかくすぐに撤収しろ。We'll look at one another. じゃあ、確認してからで。この俺がダメだと言っているんだ。あの、トビオカ先生。h a v e n watched from behind. I'm gonna step forward timidly. 一応、私が顧問ということになっているので、何かあるなら、私に言っていただきたいのですが。何が顧問だあんな形で学校に居残って迷惑をかけ続けやっと卒業したと思ったら<笑> Damn he is See I don't like how harsh he is in a money not at all like this the reason I don't want to play devil's advocate but there's a reason for him to be such a dick But in reality <laughs> I don't like him <laughs> Amana looks at Tobioka apologetically さっきまた飛んでいたようだが、誰が乗っていたんだ ?I was. I raised my hand and stepped forward. I'm not guilty of anything, so I stand proudly. 一人か ?No. 私も乗ってました。To be a good look at the cottery and frowned. もちづき。お前、ハバネの体のこと、わかっているのかんわかっていますが。ならどうしてちょっと私の体が何だってのよ Willing with anger, Kotori snaps at Tobioka, but no one stops her. Damn right, you know, I say let, let Kotori have it. <laughs> Rather, we help by glaring at Tobioka. So this is a good thing. I'm going to go to the house. I'm g o i n Oh, yeah, he knows about the whole parents. Oh, yeah, he does know about the whole parents thing. That's oh.、Ugh. Hearing mention of her parents, Kotori falters. Certainly, they would worry. That's why, they,、uh, uh, that's why their remark is so terrible to make in front of Kotori. She felt it e- even s- ever so slightly. If you haven't seen it、uh, throughout the entire Kotori playthrough or the Kotori route, we learned that she got into an accident with a hot. You know what?、Mm, I'm, I, part of me says I should spoil it. Well, it's already out there, so whatever. It's already been there. If you haven't seen it, you probably should watch through the entire thing. <laughs>、um, uh, throughout the route,、uh, she got into an accident in a hot air balloon while out with her family. And the, while the hot air balloon didn't really injure anybody, she was the one that actually lost her legs from it. So that's how she ended up in a wheelchair. Her first impulse was to come back at him. But on the verge of doing so, I shut my mouth. Hmm? Because I could see in his expression that the Tobioka I thought was just insulting Kotori actually was worried about her. And because of that, I let the timid timing slip away from me. In the end, I said nothing. Misagi no koto. Wasreta to a yuasanzo. O my no se de. Ay tsua. Mata onaji koto krikai tsuori ka! Mostly just as a thumbnail, sorry. I don't really know what to say this is kind of intense moment. Tobika glared at, at the dumbfounded Amane. Maybe another one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I feel so guilty grabbing the thumbnails, even these tense moments. Saying only that, Tobika strode away without waiting for a response. Amane to? Oh, yeah. すまないみんな。私が顧問として不甲斐ないばっかりに。あ、よけやまね。うん。平気だ。悪いがみんな、今日のところは撤収してくれ。滑走路の持ち主と、これから話をしてくるから。There wasn't anything we could do about it, so we cut today's flight short. That kind of sucks. We have morning glow coming up and we can't even glide, can't even practice. One of the sucks for us. Tobioka s e n s e a son a g o t o Anchan and everyone from the s o r t i n g Club, except Amana, will gather at the Flankfish Inn dining hall. Not the Ice, but a statue of Menokataki Mr. Nokasira. In can't you go? Sasgani Choto Shitkosigir, you know? Definitely not crafty, but though he's persistent. Achan was deep in thought, listening to everyone talk. Moshka Serto, what did that you know say? Come, she didn't. 
What do you mean? Anchan thought hard for a moment, then opened his mouth again. どちらかというと公正な人だった。そりゃ、熱苦しくて嫌われることもあったし、疲れるタイプじゃなかったな。え、嘘。いやいや、それはさすがに。特に自分が担任しているクラスの生徒には面倒見が良くて疲れていた
Yoru nods, anticipating the next part. Mochizuki Amane to you ten sign of Kagayakashi Mirai. Dainashi ni sarekanenai. Te to Gorokashira. Maybe? It is Anchan's turn to nod. <sighs> Yoru sighed, apparently tired of the whole ordeal. It could be that she's. she too is made out to be a genius and is being pushed into a future that has nothing to do with what she wants. But she failed. The price for daring an impossible flight with the damaged glider was too great. The craft was half destroyed in Iska. Okay. I can I honest this is the last thing I wanted to like this is the last thing I ever thought about. I could never see Tobioka actually defending anybody. I mean he's pretty brutal with how he treats the Soaring Club. But like I said, they gotta be a reason. I know I'm playing devil's advocate, and it's usually not the usual thing I, I do. But when it comes to like these complex characters, I kind of tend to do that. Because, I mean, there has to be a reason why he's, you know, the way he is. But he's kind of an asshole. And this will kind of explain it. Maybe? Oh, Jesus Christ. I could never see Tobioka as a nice dude, ever. Everyone felt depressed. About Iska too, and it was also that he had thought sarcastically so long about how to end Tobioka's tyranny. Or we had. It's a little sad now you think about it. Anshin shakes his head and makes a face that says he doesn't know. Today, it seemed like Tobioka is worried about Kotari. Whether this overlaps with Iska, or if, as a teacher, he simply cares about Kotari, who can't walk. So, since then, you haven't seen Iska, huh? So that. I glance at Asa and Yoru. They nod and face Anchan's direction. The reason we had Anchan come here today is not to hear about Tobioka. Anchan's expression hardens with worry. And the girl is alive. Sort of. There we go. Understandable. We look at Anchan. It's hard to say that she's alright being in a care home and all. But at least she survived the accident. Wearing a complex expression, Anchan muttered. He thought deeply. I just thought about what you said. He said rest home. Typically aren't... I may not understand, but I think rest homes are a place where you just... Pretty much go until... You die, possibly? I think? If I if that's if that's the case, then oh geez. Maybe Iska's condition was terminal. I guess we'll have to know. Oh god, now how's this could spin in so many ways. We'll either get to act I either Amanda will get to directly meet Iska, maybe Ancha, maybe you know Aoi and everybody else will. Or something else will happen. I don't know. That's the only thing I can think of right now that possibly could happen. 
すごく助かるありがとう二人とも It may not be much information, but for Anchan, this is the first news he heard since the accident. ところで、アマネのやつ遅いな。そういえば。Everyone looks at me. What? After we aborted the test and left the runway, she went to go talk to the owner. After that, she said I have some things to do and went back to the garage. あいつにも話したのか Yeah. Same as you. She had mixed feelings about it. But was relieved. So, ne, Aoi, Mukai need the Hoga in Janai. Yeah, you're right. Probably should. Make sure she's okay.